Greetings fellow gamers and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be lecturing you on the lectern. So if you enjoy informational videos, tutorials, snapshot updates, and all kinds of other Minecraft related stuff, go on down, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. So before we get too deep into the mechanics of this guy, let's go ahead and take a look at some quick redstone. This stuff's been around for quite some time, and if we see here, we can activate this piston down here, pushing that emerald block up by 15 blocks away. Now, the same thing is going to happen if we were to place a redstone torch here. Raises up and comes back down. So, the next thing we need to learn is this lectern here. If we grab a book and quill, here we are, and we place this in, it's not going to do anything. Now, if we place one here with a repeater, again, nothing. We have to have a comparator so that it gives a signal. And once you place a book in, that thing is always going to give a one tick signal. Now, if we put one in here, nothing happens, right? So let's go ahead and flip this lever. As we can see here, you cannot push a lectern with a piston. Let's go ahead and take the book out and test that one more time. There we go, nothing's happening. Next, we're going to get into the things that we can actually place on top of the lectern. As we see here, we have a lever, and I know most of us like to do podiums with an upside-down stair with a lever on the top of it. Now we have the lectern, and it looks even better. <laughs> uh, so we have a button on this one, we have a fence gate, we have a trap door, we have an end rod, fence post, cobble wall, uh, carpet, anything pretty much can go on top of these things, including a bed. Now there's some blocks, such as torches, that do not go on top of this, but we got a large choice of things that we can place up here. I uh, still love the sound of that bell, uh, but yep, we do have a bed up here, and we can still access each one of these books, even though there's items on top of them, which is really cool. Now let's get on to the page flipping. Now just like the redstone block and the redstone torch in the first part of the video, we have a 15 a uh, block long line of redstone dust and that leads up to that piston with a diamond block on top of it so let's go right over here I am going to try to keep that diamond block in camera so that we can see what's going on so flipping pages while a book is in a lectern with only a straight redstone line will cause a one tick pulse to surge through the system with each turn of the page now we're going to turn the page and watch that diamond block go up and now turn another page and it brings it back down and this also works with going back pages, just like we see there. So trying to position myself just right here, where I can actually see the pistons as well as read the book for you. There we go. Perfect. Uh, lecterns will put out a con constant redstone signal through a comparator based on the amount of pages progressed. This book contains two pages. The first page will always put out a signal strength of one. Every page after will be a percentage of the remaining signal. So let's flip the first page, and as we can see, when we move to page two, all of these pistons get activated. That is only with a two-page book. So now we're going to move on to a ten-page book. Once again, getting myself situated so that I can see both all the pistons and the book. There we go. Uh, with what we know about the previous two-page book, Let's move on to the 10 page book. Just like before, page one will light up only the redstone lamp. Flip to the second page and the first piston will activate. Move to the next one. We have two pistons that activate. And then we have one more piston, two more, so forth and so on. And that'll continue all the way until we get to number 10. Now for a 100 page book. This is the max amount of pages in a Minecraft book and quill. Like the other two examples with comparators, page 1 lights up the redstone lamp. Turning to page 2, adds a small amount of signal to the redstone line, but does not activate a piston. It isn't until we reach page 9 that the first piston will activate. That is 8 pages for one piston. Once we turn to page 9 of a 100 page book, we see the first piston getting activated. No other pistons will be activated until we reach page 16. Once we reach page 16, another piston is activated. 
Then it is on to page 23 before the next piston gets activated. Only seven pages past the page 9. Page 23 activates the next piston. Only seven pages past page 16. Then on to page 30. One more piston is activated at the page 30. So as we can see here, each consecutive piston will be activated for every seven pages turned in the book. This is the case for evenly all the way to page 100. And now we're just going to flip all the way down to page 100 and watch those pistons on the top right corner. Slowly but surely, those guys are activating. And just like that, we have all 100 pages turned and all the pistons are activated. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, everything you need to know about the lectern. So if you enjoyed the video, go down, leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and click that notification bell so that YouTube lets you know when the next video comes out. But until next time, I am Sweeney Dunstan, and I'm out of here.